and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code called Daily Temperatures. This is part of Leak Code 75. If you are following along, I have that playlist linked down below, as well as all the other playlists we've done. They're all linked in the description. So what is this question? We're given an array of integers called temperatures, which represents the daily temperatures. We want to return an array answer such that answer at index i is the number of days you have to wait after the ith day to get a warmer temperature. If there is no future day for which this is possible, keep answer of i equal to zero instead. So example one, this is our input temperatures. We want to return an array of the same size, just marking how many days we have to wait to get a warmer temperature. So at index zero, we only have to wait one day. So we have one at index zero. At index one, again, we wait only one day. So we have one. And here we have to wait four days till we find a warmer temperature and so forth. Example two, we have 30, 40, 50, 60, so one, 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 zero. Of course, the last element in all inputs will always be zero. There's no other element that's gonna have a higher temperature because there is no other element left. And example three, 30, 60, 90, again, it's one, one, zero. So before ever doing any problem, we always start with examples. This is to make sure we can really see how we want to solve our problem. So if I take example one over here, this is my input temperatures. I have this array and I want to figure out how many days I want to wait before I see a higher temperature. Now, one way to approach this is just to brute force it. I'm just going to scan every single number every single day in front of me to see how many days until I see that higher temperature. So if I were to do that, how would that look like? I would start at index zero, which is temperature 73, and just scan through every single temperature in front of me. And I see right away, I have 74, a higher temperature, only one day away. So in this index at index zero, I'm gonna fill in a one. Now for index one, again, I only wait one day. Index two, how many days do I wait? Well, I come across a 71, it's not higher than me. Then I come across a 69, also not higher than me. Then a 72, also not higher than me. And then a 76. So we had to wait four days. And now I'm at index three, temperature 71. Again, I make the same checks. I'm going through the numbers I've seen before, and this is gonna come in use later on when we figure out a more efficient way to solve this. Basically, I go to 69, it's not higher than me, 72 is, so I only had to wait two days. At 69, how many days do I have to wait? I see 72 once again, I only had to wait one day. Then over here, I see again, I only have to wait one day, I see 76. And for 76, there's no other higher temperature and same with 73. So they're both going to be zeros. We're to go through every single element ahead of us for every single element that we have. So this is going to be an n squared operation. We're going through n elements n times. And we can see this is exactly what we were expecting. But how can we do better? If you notice, there were numbers that we were going over that we had already worked with previously. So what if we just keep track of them somehow? What I'm going to do is initialize a stack, keeping track of all the indices we haven't found a higher temperature for so far. So in the beginning, I am iterating through my input temperatures and I'm on index zero, temperature 73. As of right now, I don't have a higher temperature. So what I'm going to do is just add this index zero to my stack. And I've also gone ahead and zeroed out our resulting array so we can see exactly how this is going to be built. So right now we have a stack and a resulting array. This is filled with all zeros and our stack only holds our first index. And we go down to our second index, we're at index one. We see the temperature at this index is greater than the temperature we had at the last index in our stack. So what I'm gonna do is just subtract the index I'm on, which is one, from the index of that stack. So one minus zero is one, which means at index zero, we only had to wait one day for a higher temperature. So once I pop this off, I can go ahead and update my result and add our current index to the stack because for index one, we haven't found that higher temperature yet. So iterating through again, I am now at index two. 75 is greater than the temperature we have at 74. So two minus one is one. At index one, we only had to wait one day. So now I'm gonna add index two to my stack, move down. And now I'm at index three. Now this temperature is not greater than the temperature I have at index two. So what can I do? What I'm gonna do is just add this index to my stack. So I'm going to append three to the end of this stack. And now I'm iterating down. I am at index four now. And the only thing I need to do is check my temperature against that last index we have in our stack. So is 69 greater than the temperature we have at index three? It is not, which means there is no reason for me to compare 69 against 75. If it's not greater than 71, it definitely can be greater than 75 because we're only appending to this stack if it's not greater than that last element we already have. So every single time we append an element to our stack, it's always going to be less than the element that was currently there. 
So right now I have 69. It's not greater than the temperature I had at index three. So I'm just going to add index four to the end of my stack. Now I come across index five. Again, the only thing I need to do is compare with that last index I have. At index four, I have 69. 72 is greater than 69. So I'm just going to subtract my current index with that index I saw. So five minus four is one. So at index four, I only had to wait one day. So I went ahead and updated the value at index four and I'm writing out the indices here so it's clear in our minds. So since we were greater than that temperature at that last index, we removed that index, we no longer need to consider it. What if we're still greater than that second to last index we had? So again, we wanna make the same check. Is 72 greater than the temperature we have at index three? It is, right? 72 is greater than 71. So we're just gonna pop off that last index, index three. And at index three, just update how many days we had to wait. And how many was that, right? I minus three, so that's going to be five minus three, which is two. We only have to wait two days for a higher temperature. And we make that same check again. 75, what we have at index two, is not less than what we have at 72. So we haven't found a day with a higher temperature for this index, which means that we're done going through our stack and we just need to append our own index to the set. So I've appended index five, moving down, I'm at index six. 76 is greater than 72, I pop this off. And six minus five is how many days I have to wait here, which is just one. Now I compare what I have at index two, 76 is greater, I'm gonna pop this off. And six minus two is four, which means I have to wait four days here. I go ahead and add my own index in and move down. I compare 73 is not greater than what we have at index six. So we just go ahead and add in our own index and we're done iterating through our array. And if you notice, this is exactly what we are expecting. And with this approach, we don't need to make a check against every single element. We're just making one check every single time. So this is going to be an O of N solution for time. Now let's go ahead and code this up and then walk through a super quick example. Now, if at this point you feel like you know the answer, you know how to approach it, you wanna go ahead, code it up yourself, feel free to anytime in the video, for any of my videos, feel free to pause it and just try it out yourself. So for this, how are we going to code this up? The first thing I wanna do is initialize an empty stack and a resulting array. Now this array is going to hold zeros for every single number we have in temperatures. So it's going to be zero times length of my temperatures. Now I'm going to be looping through my input. So for I in range length of temperatures, we want to see if we can pop anything off of that stack we're building. So while stack, while there are elements in the stack and the last element of our stack, so that last index, so stack of minus one and the temperature we have at that index. So temperatures of what we have in that last element in stack is less than the temperature we have at our current index. So temperatures at index i, we're gonna pop from that stack. So the index we pop off is the one that we can now update. So result of that index is going to equal i minus index. And this is a while loop. So we're gonna keep doing this while there's still indices in our stack. And the temperature at that last index is less than our own temperature. Once we're done, there are no more indices to pop off. We're just gonna add our own index to the stack. So stack dot append i. And in the end, all we have to do is return result. So let's go ahead and submit this and it is accepted. Now, before leaving, we're just gonna do a super quick example just to tie it all together. So say this is our input, it's loosely based off example three. What are we doing line by line? The first thing we do is initialize our stack. It's going to be empty. Then resulting array is going to be zero for the length of temperatures. So it's going to be four zeros in here. Now we're going to be looping through with I. So I starts off at zero. Now while stack, while it's not empty, that's not true, it is empty. So we skip over this while and just append our index to stack. So I'm adding zero and moving I down to go back in this for loop. Now we do the same thing again while stack, that is true. And temperatures at stack of minus one. So stack of minus one is zero. Temperatures at index zero is 30. If this is less than temperatures at index I, which it is, we're gonna pop off from stack. So we're gonna take off zero and save that in our index variable. And result of this index, so result of zero is going to equal i minus zero. So this is going to be one. We go back in this while loop and stack is now empty, so we can't continue in here. All we do is append our own index to stack and move back in for the for loop. So now we're at index two while stack, that's true. And temperatures of stack at minus one, is this less than our own temperature? It is not, so we skip this while loop and just add in our own index. So I've added index two and we go back in this for loop. We're now at index three. While stack, that is true and temperatures of stack at minus one is less than temperatures at I. That is true. 
So we're popping from stack and all a pop is, is it removes that last element we have in a list. So we're going to store two in index and a result at index two is going to be I minus index. So three minus two is one. So going back in this while loop while stack, that's true. And temperature is at stack of minus one. What's the last element we have now? So that's index one. Temperature at index one is 60. 60 is less than 90. So again, we're popping from stack, saving that in the index variable and updating result at index one to be I minus one. That's going to be two. Going back in this while loop, we can't go in anymore. Stack is empty. So we just append our own index to stack. And if you notice, we've already gone through every single index we could. So this is our final result that we want to return. And it makes sense, right? We only have to wait one day here. We have to wait two days here, one day here. And this is the last element in our array. So no matter how many days we wait, we'll never find a higher temperature. So we just went ahead and solved daily temperatures. If you have any questions with this problem whatsoever, let me know down below, comment, and I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, subscribe, and share. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.